something done right, you must do it yourself, says Andrew Saw. My family used herbs and voodoo black magic in order to cure people in the past. These remedies were carried down along the family line, although in the past generation, the practice has been less common. My parents, however, have sought out natural remedies from people who follow God. These natural remedies can cure any illness or disease, including diabetes and cancers. However, the most common remedies brewed are for small things such as a sore throat, um, for bad breath, and for burns. Recently, many of you have gone through health issues, coughing your lungs out or having no voice with which to talk. And it has actually gotten kind of annoying, but that's beyond the point. I'm not sure how much medicine you gobbled down, but you could have had much less of a natural remedy in order to cure you. One of the remedies that are popular, popularly made is for a sore throat. What you need to do is, basically all you need for this is just lemon and honey. Um, the proportion for it is just about a spoonful of honey and um, one lemon in order to make Although I'm going to have to use a whole lemon because these aren't really that fresh, so they're not going to give out a lot of juice. So you're just going to cut your lemon in half and squeeze it out into the cup. And you don't want any seeds in this because basically um, you have to shoot it down, so you don't really want lemons while you're, or seeds while you're shooting it down your throat. Um, Ms. Fulbright, I know you had this the other day. Would you like to say how it tasted? It was not bad at all, and it actually helped. It was, it was good for me. Mm -hmm. Although you only had it once, and um, you should have this remedy at least three to five times a day if you actually want to see anything, like any results, and actually help your throat. Um, so basically, as I said, you're just going to take a spoonful of honey for every half a lemon you use. Uh, and then you're going to have to stir it for kind of quite a while in order to um, mix the two. Otherwise, it's going to be chunky and the honey will just kind of like stick to the side of the cup. Um, so you're going to do this for just a little bit. And um, would anybody like to come up and taste it? All right. isn't that bad, but kissing a date with bad breath could be really bad. Junior, senior might seem like a long time away, but it can jump on you. So basically, once again, for this remedy, all you need are lemons and extra virgin olive oil. The consistency for this is about two lemons and two spoonfuls, um, and this time the seeds don't really matter um, if they're in the drink or not. The reason that this cures your bad breath um, is because basically bad breath comes from like inside the body, from the liver mainly. And what this remedy does is it cleanses out your liver. So that's kind of like why it gets rid of your bad breath. And you have to have this um, about twice a day for a total of three to five days if you actually want to see any results. And um, you can do it more than that though. That's just like the minimum required amount and you have to do it continuously. So you have to do that for like once every two months if you actually want to get rid of your bad breath. I've had this before and it's not really the world's most delicious thing to have, but it really does actually help. And um, I know one time we were in Florida with my cousins and um, my cousin's liver like started hurting for some odd reason. I really don't know what was wrong with him. But, um, he just like started screaming in pain because his it was like really hurting him, and um, so basically my mom made some of this and gave it to him, and by like the next day he was feeling better already. Would anybody like to come up and taste this? breath, you're going to need something to cure the burn that your date's going to tell you is doing your senior. Although the following remedy does not really work for emotional burns, it only works for physical <laughs> What you need for this is either aloe vera or an onion. And so, 
I don't have either with me because we had an incident this morning, so I don't have one to show you. But if you use a Lovera, if you know what it looks like, it's sort of triangular shape, and you're going to cut it right down the middle, and then you kind of just kind of like peel it open to the sides, and then you're just going to cut a chunk out of it. And what you have to do is you have to rub it like over the burn spot. Because after you get a burn, the first thing you must do is apply something cold like an ice pack or something from your freezer in order to like take the heat off of it. And you have to do that for about half an hour to an hour or even more depending on how serious your burn was. And so after that, even though it can still be hurting, you have to start applying the aloe vera or the onion to it in order to just kind of start healing it. Um, and with the onion, what you do is you would just end up cutting it in half and rubbing it around the burn spot. I had a really bad experience over the summer. Basically, we were remodeling our kitchen, so I had to cook everything in a toaster oven. And so I had a personal pizza, and it had just finished cooking. I took it out, and I was taking it up to my room to eat, because my room's upstairs, and we didn't have a living room to eat in. So as I was walking upstairs, I tripped on the final step. And so for some reason, or whatever, my hand just kind of like stretched out and the pizza did like a flip thing, so it landed cheese down onto my hand, and so I was in pain for quite a while, but um, using these remedies really did help it. Um, so no matter what illness or disease takes you by storm, you can easily combat it with natural remedies. The things that God has provided for us can really cure anything, um, can cure anything, However, we must be the ones to decide to utilize them, and they require, vir require virtually nothing from us at all. Like your mom says, an apple a day can keep the doctor away. 